This is our InteractML regression demo. Here we see panels showing the information about the data being recorded. In this case, the uh, player position is our input values. The training panel shows the training status and the run panel is the output of the running model. As the player moves around, you can see the input values changing based on the position. If we run the model, we can see the output as we move from left to right goes between 0 and 1. This model is currently trained on 1 being down the right hand side of the map and 0 being down the left hand side of the map. We also have the output value visualized as a material parameter change on the sphere at the back of the map. If we stop the model running and delete the current examples, we can record a new set. Initially with the expected output 1 we record some positions at the front of the map. Setting the expected output to 0 and recording a load of examples around the outside of the map. This is our example data set from which we train the model on. And once again when we run we can see the output blending between 1 at the front of the map and 0 at the periphery. Here we have our dynamic time warp demo. This is pre-trained on over 70 example numbers. And as we can see, a series of input values generated by a gesture drawn on the input panel. The model is run on this input data to ma and matched against the trained examples. We even train for multiple stroke configurations present in variants of standard numbers. Uh, okay, so this is the semaphore uh, test environment, which is actually to teach you how to do semaphore, and we've just, just started developing this. Um, so there's a, you can see there's a mirror that's in front of me which has the semaphore flag positions. Um, I've got my uh, semaphore flags in my hand and on the left there's like a little tile and the tile gives me the uh, output. So this machine learning system has been trained with all the le uh, letters so I'm hoping that I can actually spell out words and things like that. So I'm just going to start with the alphabet um, and I'm just going to run the system now. So it's going to give me A, B, C, D, E, F. G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, uh, and then Q, and then R, S. Um, so if I go to a space, I should be able to spell epic. E, let's see, P, uh, I, it's quite challenging. C. Okay.